patient with AML, obviously the first diagnostic test is a bone marrow, aspirate and trefine to get clinical material. That should be tested by morphology, somebody looking down the microscope and seeing what they see, by flow cytometry, which is a way of looking at po populations of cells and marking them, by cytogenetics, and again, every patient with AML should have cytogenetics done, and cytogenetics is where the cells, the leukemic cells, are tested, allowed to divide, and then the cytogeneticists can interpret what changes have taken place and many of these changes are important for both diagnosis and prognosis in these patients and finally then there are a number of, well not necessarily finally but most importantly there are a number of, of molecular tests where certain changes in the genes can be looked for and should be looked for these are things like FLT3, NPN1 and more, and these should now be done in any patient with a, a suspected diagnosis of AML. And this is particularly important, going back to what I was saying earlier about new drugs, because we now have available just in the UK a specific drug in, in mitostorin, which is effective, as, as shown in trials, against the FLT3 mutation. Uh, which has particularly poor connotations for some patients with AML.